Hey guys, what's up? It's Crispy Sonic, and today we are doing a review on the Breen Resrith Dreadnought Cruiser. Now, it's kind of. Oh, oh, why is it down there? Um, okay, that's weird. Um, I will just go to Earth Space Dock Solar System. Yeah, see, it's kind of. They'll fix that. That's kind of weird. It's like way down there. It's not supposed to be. Um, now, I don't really like flying cruisers very much. I don't like beams. I think they're kind of boring. Like, just a slow cruiser with beams. I mean, I got a pilot warbird. It's super fun to fly. I mean, why would I want to use beams, right? But, now, and the thing is, I don't have any beams. <laughs> um, that's the thing. I don't have any beams so yeah I won't be using beams I, to review this ship I'll just be using dual heavy cannons I put the conductive RCS on and all that so I will so it's still like good enough let's let's put on all the consoles I use let's use these and then just one normal standard one okay um what else do I have that I didn't put on here. Did I put on everything? Swell. I'll put on this. I'll just put the console back on. I'll show you guys the console. It's pretty sweet. Now I'll put my turrets on. I'll get rid of that torpedo. Put that on. Oh, I mean not that on. Okay. So first, let's go over the mastery. All this stuff, whoa. Wait, all then. Oh, it's sweet. Um, wait, I want it. That's really good. Um, critical chance, hit points. Okay, and then four, four, five engineering consoles, three, three, and then a hangar. And, um, Let's go over the trait. Um, this is really interesting. Um, well, it's it's pretty good. Um, five po max powered also sub subsystems for 15 seconds and maximum shield capacity and locks locks out enhanced power condensers for 30 seconds. So that's pretty good. Um, let's look at the stations. Um, Lieutenant Commander Universal slash Command Station, Ensign Universal, um, Lieutenant Tactical, Command and Engineering, and Lieutenant Commander Science. Ooh, a Wells. Oh, that's nice. Um, also tried to get one of those from the black boxes. Frick. Okay. Um, that's a nice looking ship, too. Okay. So, uh, of course. Frick is he? Okay. Uh, I like looking at people's ships. Let's disable these visuals. Now, of course, let's start with the looks. Oh, whoa, whoa. Before that, dude. I've never seen one of these. Oh, that's the temporal. God, this thing turns pretty slow. It's pretty sweet. Okay, anyway. What do you guys think of the look of this? Like, it's very... Not symmetrical. It's not... It doesn't look like a ship. Like, I mean, like, a... Even ship, if you know what I'm talking about. Like, everything's, like, equal on both sides. No, it's, like, crazy. But I actually... Yeah, I actually kind of dig this design. I don't know if a lot of people... Other people do. But, hey, I'm liking it. And I named the scorpion because it looked like scorpion claws... And like the tails back here, but I don't know. I named that, and my birthday's in November, so I wanted to name a scorpion. But it was just kind of thing. The reflector is in there, hidden in there. Pretty crazy looking, but it's nice. Let's launch some pets, see what they look like. So it's like that. Whoa, whoa, what? Is that even fully loaded? Even my graphics are not just turned up, but it's almost like. Oh, it's just loading. Okay. 
Well, okay, that one's a little bugged out. If you ever watch or know Battlestar Galactica, um, they almost look like raiders. Um, they have like the wings like that, and it's just not loaded, but it's pretty nice. Um, six of them. Now this ship is a really bad turn rate, but otherwise it's got massive hull strength. Let's see that. Wow. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to fill in the station. I don't have. Let's just put in science team and attack ambient. Sure. Okay. So let's actually go look at the normal stats. Um, STO Breen Resreth. Okay. So, massive hull strength, good shield modifier, good weapons, and a hangar bay. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Um, three, five, and three consoles. Seven turn rate, that's pretty bad. <laughs> five all power levels, that's really good. Um, this is from the event. Um, weapons efficiency, track fire, carry commands, energy discharge away, array. But, and it's very slow, but pretty fun. Maybe I'll set it up. Maybe I'll buy some beams. That'd be cool. Maybe I'll just do that. But Breen Resereth Carrier. I mean, I like it. I like it. I don't know about other people, but I really like it. Heck, I've seen some reviews and people say it's really, really ugly. But, I mean, the all perfectly, like, look, the perfectly perfect looking design it's not always the best it's really cool but oh, of course the ships look awesome but this is like crazy and i like that but uh, cannons will not really work on this ship but that's all i have right now so let's do it um maybe i was thinking about putting dual beams on and then something no let's not let's just do normal beams i'd say maybe like um, no let's not do omni beams that's a bad idea. Let's go. So you've seen the station, seen the trait. Now I want to show you the console and how it performs. And then not make this video too long. So let's get into this. Yo. Oh, nice. Pilot Warbird, dude. You all know how I think of the Pilot Warbird if you watch my videos. Coolest freaking ship ever. Or one of them. I don't know what's a cool ship. Someone help me. I need help. Okay? I'm going to ask you guys right now, and this is going to be funny. Tell me which one do you think is the coolest one. And give your reasons. The Pilot Warbird. Science Pilot Warbird. Our Hawk. Are the ones I have. The Vodwar Manasa. The Zindi Insectoid. Oiling Heavy Escort Carrier. Or the Fleet Fate. Or this ship. Or the Scimitar. Tell me which one. Here are all my ships. Tell me which one you think is the best. I do not know. I cannot decide between for my main ship. I'm really thinking the pilot ship because that's really fun. But the Fate does tons of damage and that's cool. The Zindi is a carrier escort and I love the design. I just don't know. But that's the fun of having all the ships, right? And this ship is really cool too. I just need to freaking get some beams for it. And I don't know why it's all glitched like this, but it'll they'll fix it for sure. Let's do... No, I just did that. Um, to give you... A, let's do a gateway to Greythor. So, I basically need to set this up a little better. But I don't... It didn't use the ship very much yet, so... But let's look at the console. Um, after two seconds... 1,200 electrical damage and ignores shields every one second for eight seconds. Damage increases by 6% per charge. One charge per foe within five kilometers every one second stacks to 25 times. Up to five foes within five kilometers of caster to target minus 2.5 uh, 2 all subsystems. Um, all power, or no, all power settings for 10 seconds every one second. That's pretty nice. It's an interesting console. Good for a lot of enemies close to you. So, let's see. But, 
Um, so that's now we're just waiting for it to queue up. The heck is this? Oh, that the Delon or or whatever. Like as you can tell, I like looking at people's ships. It's fun. Nothing's huge. Not as big as the Scimitar, huh? Maybe it is. Yeah, this ship's pretty massive. Pretty big. Um, I have my engine power way up. <laughs> but again, this is just a build I threw on because I don't use this ship much, but maybe I will. It's I'm I'm liking it. Big high hull strength. Very solid cruiser. Very fun. I just haven't flown it much yet because I'm really into like escorts and stuff like that. Escorts are probably my favorite. That's a nice looking ship. Wish that was a lifetime subscriber so I can get that thing. Um, ten seconds. I'm oh, waiting for the players. You know, it's not probably not even gonna start. We'll just fly around and this will be really weird down here. Out of the screen, no. Game starting. Oh, hey, it did start, okay. Let's do it. The invasion of Kronos. Has the invasion of Kronos. Hey, how you doing, friend? Doing my bean, buddy. Okay. Let's launch some pets. Maybe it's because my graphics aren't turned up, but pets are supposed to almost look like raiders from Battlestar Galactica. It's pretty interesting. But let's launch. Okay, starts at 20 seconds. I always thought those ships were really ugly up there. How could you even use it? It's not cool. That's probably one of the ugliest ships I've seen up there. But hey, it's just me. I'm liking this this Resrith. See, not not too bad of a turn rate. Almost the worst, but you know, we're just gonna have to live with it. Yeah, definitely better with beams, probably. Getting all my turrets off. I was thinking of using... I bought one time for this ship, because I was excited to get it. All cannons and turrets. I thought that worked pretty well. Oh, here we go. Let's use the console. See that electricity flowing into me? And the target I'm targeting, it'll shoot that electric beam, and it'll start to get bigger and bigger and yeah it's over but that did some nice damage and it stacks even more if there are more enemies and it's, it's it looks really nice I love it but I've never really flown cruisers so this will be kind of another new experience for me so that'll be fun and it'll just be really fun to see I'm really close to getting rock and roll in my specialization to see this thing do that. That'll be so fun to see. But like I, like I said, massive hull strength. If you're using beams, the turn rate doesn't matter as much. Massive hull strength, good DPS. There's not much that can beat this stuff. This kind of ship, I don't think. It's a very nice ship. Basic maneuvers, let's get forward facing. Yeah, did I activate evasive maneuvers? No. It's raining. Freaky, always knocks out my engines. I hate those probes, my gosh. And the shields are really strong too, so I'm not I'm happy with that. Oh, I forgot about my pets.
Whoa. Lots of turrets. And now cannons. But yeah, seriously, help me, guys. I'm one of those people that can't decide on anything, really. It's really hard. So help me figure help me figure out what's a cool ship to use. I want something that's good, which I have all good ships. Something that would be unique and fun. Like, I know I should be able to figure this out myself, but it's always well, hard for me. Something that's really fun. Something that'll be great, a great ship later on. So help me out, guys. Oh, let's use the console right in there. Yes. Let's target this Quaz Cruiser. And let's use it. So, sucking in all that electricity. Getting that beam on him. Doing some good damage. Look at that. Dude. Sweet. Very nice console. Dang, the weapons are... Not working. Need some energy credits. Okay. Nice abilities. This is a really cool ship. It's a, it's a like, it can be like a science engineer kind of ship. It's pretty cool. You can give it that crazy stuff. Let's fly over here. But, like, I don't know if people have such a problem with the looks of this ship. I'm sure it's not, like, perfect like the other ships but like how they look but it's cool that it has that different um, design it's not the same on both sides like that I also have another ship um, that it's in dry dock. I have the Nihydron Hydron Destroyer. Um, I don't know. Um, like if you saw the ships I have mainly, but um, I have that one I bought too. I don't know if it's very good. You guys can also tell me that. But my pets are still alive. What? How is that possible? I haven't checked on them in like five minutes. It seems like awesome. Sweet. I mean, it's not that bad with cannons. I mean, probably beams will be better because you get a, you can always have your guns on targets or your beams on target, but it's not that bad. Just make sure to ma um, use your evasive maneuvers right and all that. Still get all your turrets and cutting beam on them. I mean, it's be better with beams at bad, but what can we do? don't have them. I usually didn't have any carriers, so let's just... Rick, why am I moving so slow? Okay. Oh, he's using it too. Let's double it. Electricity! Raining. Oh my gosh. Looks like I'm shooting so much when I do that. Rap fire cannons, all the turrets and stuff. That's one reason I love using cannons, because it looks like they're shooting so much and it's awesome.
Ini mini mini. How are the pets still alive? They're like maximum level. This is crazy. Really good pets, man. I want to get elite scorp scorpion fighters, but still, we're really surviving here. Impressive. Usually, all my pets die, and these are still not even advanced yet. I'd say the best carrier I have is the Olin, though, or like the Simtar, but I like the Olin heavy escort carrier. But again, we haven't like tried this one very much yet. But I don't know, I'm thinking of making the pilot my main. It's been for a while, but... Oh, you know how I feel about that if you watch my, old vi my other videos, so... If you want to see that, go check it out, if you're wondering about the pilot ship. Down to the planet! This console's cool as frick. I thought that was okay. Dead. hate this part you know I think you've seen it all I don't think we need to make this video any longer and stuff I don't want to face that right now. but so let's end this let's end this video um, it's it's a very solid cruiser I don't know if you like the looks or not but it's a very solid cruiser very solid. Very high hull strength. Very nice console layout. Very nice bridge officers. Very nice console. Very nice trait. Oh, and it's got hangers too. Yeah, or a hangar bay. So, yeah. I don't know what you wouldn't want. Maybe if you just don't like the looks, but otherwise, it's a good ship. Go for it, okay? And you probably all got it from the event, but if you didn't, well, it's too late, but I love it. And so if you, if you thought, you know... I don't know if I should use it because I, I don't know if I like it. Well, maybe after watching this video, you've changed your mind. So, I don't know. But I'm liking it. I just wanted to review on it. Woo! Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time.